COVID-19 is changing the world. Schools were locked down. How could our students going to learn? With the information and communication technology, schools, teachers, and students were reconnected through Google Classroom, Zoom meetings, and e-learning. Although we are back to school, we are still reflecting on the impact of this unprecedented pandemic on our school. Can we extend our teaching and learning beyond the classroom? Can we use online learning to enhance students' literacy and numeracy capacities? These inquiries lead to this action research. Hmm. Do you think we can do an action research on online learning? How about we focus on academic learning? Hey, I got an idea. How about we make an online literacy and numeracy enrichment program? Hmm. Wow, that actually sounds like a really good idea. Yeah, I agree. First, we did extensive literature review of research on ICT, e-learning, numeracy, and literacy education for secondary school. The literature review convinced us that strong literacy, numeracy, and ICT capacities need to be developed from early years. We also studied our school culture, student profiles, teacher teams, and academic programs through school reports and plans. Then we made the decision on proposing this one-year literacy and numeracy online enrichment program for our Year Seven students. My name is Monica Thakur, and I'm maths teacher. Now I'm going to talk about the first part of this book. MacArthur Girls High School is a public government school which is located in Parramatta. The school reputation has created a demand for enrollment. MacArthur Girls High School caters to 1,221 students. Over 90% of students are from language background other than English. The largest group of students representing non-English speaking background families include Arabic, Tamil, Dari, Hindi, Cantonese, and Gujarati speakers. Student enrollments reflect the school's very positive reputation in the broader community. The school family occupation and employment index is 69, which is lower than the average of 100. According to Akara statistics on my school website, the XCA value is. 1048 which is slightly higher than the average of 1000 MacArthur Girls High School has an integrated approach to quality teaching curriculum planning and delivery an assessment which promotes learning excellence and responsiveness in meeting the needs of all students the primary focus for pursuing this policy is to improve academic achievement in students from various cultures The reason for online learning is paramount because in ongoing pandemic schools are challenging the traditional teaching practices and adopting new ICT in their curriculum and provide productive learning to students. Moreover, instruction scaffolding helps a teacher to add support for students in order to enhance learning and add in the mastery of tasks. Teachers should interact with students post their lecture and reach out to parents and other community people to understand the learning capabilities online assessment and evaluation needs special attention under the policy students should be taught to use the online tool for learning and provide instant feedback in case of any issues the overarching goal about project is enhanced academic achievement among year 7 students through online enrichment program and to provide students with literacy and numeracy learning opportunities which are significant and connecting to their lives students will be engaged in subject specific and integrated learning experiences which develop resilience capacities and skills for the 21st century My name is Xie Jun He. In the second part of the program, I'm going to talk about interventions and implementation timelines throughout the year. To achieve the goal, this project involved the following five different interventions. First, enhance Year Seven students' ability to use ICT for academic learning. This includes using personal or school devices to connect to the online programs, learning to use different software, information technology, and online facilitators. Second, set up online teaching and learning resources to facilitate learning. 
This includes classroom activities, scaffold and prompt, visual aids, audio and video resources, worksheets, interactive games, links to websites, and lesson recordings. Online resources can provide instant help to students when teachers are not available. Third, build a communication platforms between teachers, students, and families. This includes building our school blogs and group discussion boards. Parents and teachers can check students' progress and provide support when problems are identified. Fourth, build up an online assessment system to support assessment for learning. Teachers can put exercise, quiz, exams, and assessment online and collect results to inform classroom teaching. Critical reflections and program reports are based on the evidence of observations, communications, and online assessment reports. Fifth, the online enrichment program can be modified into e-learning package when unexpected situations happen, like lockdown in COVID-19. Google Team, Google Classroom, Zoom meetings, and class recordings with the enrichment resources will allow students to learn from home. The following chart summarizes the major interventions for the program, and the color code will be used to make the implementation gun chart. Here is the gun chart for implementation timeline. In the beginning of the first term, three to five technology sections are provided for students and teachers to acquire the ICD capabilities with one refreshing section in week one of the following terms. Communication platforms, assessment systems, online resources, and e-learning packages are developed during this time too. From term two to term four, online resources and e-learning packages are uploaded in week one and week five, and this program will be used throughout the term. Feedback is collected, and critical reflections, reports on program progress, and evaluation will be developed towards the end of each term. During the lockdown, the e-learning package will replace classroom learning as our plan B. Hi, I am Avnita Kumar. I will be providing you with information about how we measure our literacy and numeracy online enrichment program. And I will also be discussing our cycle of continuous improvement. Measurement and improvement are key factors to our literacy and numeracy online enrichment program at MacArthur Girls High School. We aim to provide quality education and facilities through our online modules that continuously challenge, improve and educate students on literacy and numeracy. In this Literacy and Numeracy Online Enrichment Program, students will be undertaking a Literacy and Numeracy test after they enroll into the program. Based on their results, students will be placed into classes with students that have same or similar learning capabilities and have online modules designed and differentiated to challenge and improve their learning. In this program, the online modules will contain weekly online lessons for Literacy and Numeracy Program, a quiz before commencing the module and a test at the end of the module. This form of summative assessment is aimed to measure students' prior knowledge and measure students' improvement after the module. The formative assessments will also be conducted in the middle of the program, assessing students' improvement and comparing their capabilities at the start of the program to the middle. The last formative assessment will be at the end of the program, which aims to measure students' overall learning achievements and outcomes, using the data collected from the results throughout the program. Students will be provided with feedback by our teachers, and a graph will be available for students to measure improvements and their performances in the course based on their results. Our aim is to use this measurement to provide quality education and improve students' learning. In this program, we aim to provide a cycle of continuous improvement by providing engaging and educative content in the modules, assessing students' achievement and improvement through formative and summative assessments, providing constructive feedback that promotes students to reflect and improve their performance, and surveys for students to help us improve our services.